been talking about this. Project Grad came to Knoxville in 2001, so that's enough time to let us seek out people who have not only graduated high school, not only have gone to college or technical school, but now are deeply ensconced in successful careers. There's so many stories that are success stories and one of the real standouts is Brody Curry he's from Fulton's class of 2013 now head coach of the women's basketball team at Sewanee College University of the South well photographer Bill Green and I traveled there to see the campus and meet the coach the view from the lookout at Sewanee looks like a watercolor the architecture of each building on campus has a distinctive flair the late 90s, early 2000s, Sewanee was like a top 25 liberal arts college and um, hoping to get back to that. Brody Curry, head coach of the women's basketball team, graduated from Sewanee and decided to stick around, taking time on our visit to show us the campus, letting us soak up the beauty of the chapel. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones up here with the man with the yellow sweatshirt uh, or yellow sweater. Detailing so much of the history of Sewanee, it's clear this former Fulton Falcon also embraces life as a Sewanee Tiger. Fell in love with it. Um, was very fortunate to be here, get a degree from here, make a lot of great connections along the way. Curry went from student athlete graduating from Sewanee in 2017 to assistant coach of the men's team made a move to Lee University to hone his skills as an assistant coach. Now back at Sewanee, completing his first season as the women's head coach. It was rough. We're a young team. Uh, you know, I inherited all of them. They didn't, they didn't sign up to play for me. Um, you know, I, I signed on to coach them, but it was, it was tough. It took a while to transition, and um, we learned a lot, and we got a lot better. I think he's taught us a lot about resilience and how to really push ourselves. It's fun. It's hard work. You're definitely, he's going to get the best out of you, and uh, you're going to be on the verge of wanting to quit sometimes, but he, um, he gets the best out of you. He sees, like, our max potential, because he usually tells me, like, pulls me to the side, like, hey, you haven't reached your potential yet. I see a lot more in you that you just have to tap in with. So that's what I love about him. Not only is Coach Curry a force on the basketball court, he's also well-respected across campus. He was recently named to head up inclusion and diversity for all athletics at the school. He wants to play a role in laying a new foundation here, telling us this multicultural center on campus is being renovated. He'll make use of that as part of his new expanded responsibilities to affect positive change. It's a, a small campus, so there's a lot of familiar faces. You're able to build a lot of great relationships. But at the end of the day, the representation is very important, and that's something that I didn't quite understand until I got to Sewanee. You know, my mom's, my mom's white and uh, never felt an issue being around white people. Uh, but, you know, I had some friends from D.C., Chocolate City, that came down here, and they were, like, shell-shocked. And so really learning that part of things was, was really what opened up my eyes to we have to have these things in place. We asked this former Project grad scholar what he would like to say to students thinking about their future. <sighs> a lot. <laughs> say a lot. But it's just one day at a time. Control what you can control. Go find your dream and chase it. Never stop. Don't let people tell you what you can't do. Go find people that you can look at and, and replicate what they've done. Um, don't compare yourself to anyone. Don't compare yourself to another school, maybe on a, a nicer area of town. Uh, comparison is, is the thief of joy. Just be yourself. Be authentic. Coach Curry, an inspiration, and just one of the successful Project Grad Scholars to come through this program. Please support it. Go to WATE.com to donate or call us right now at the number you see at the bottom of your screen. We'll be right back.